our next conversation happens to be about etiquette. I think, Kim, yeah, Kim, I think you can go. Just, just, okay. You can. Just, just go. Give them the walk. Give them the walk. Give them oh, the walk. Um, give them the walk. Yeah. Give well, this one really counts. <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm with a grooming specialist and a fashion specialist as well. She is, uh, she's been doing this for a very, very long time. I'm talking about Madame Gladys de Bort Hill, and she is here to tell us about grooming. I'm excited about this conversation. When I was in secondary school, the school that I attended was very particular about grooming, how to sit, how to eat, how to walk. And so this conversation is definitely going to take me back into secondary school. It's going to take you back into secondary school. And if not, it's going to also teach you how to do the things that you need to do, especially when you get into the mess of people. You need to be bougie. You know how we do it. <laughs> so, hello, mommy. How are you? I'm okay. How's everything? You look beautiful. Thank you. I love what you're wearing. <laughs> and you, uh, you. you look forever young. Let me put it like that. Mm. Yeah. Very young. 70. Huh? 7-0. Last year. Wow. You don't look it. <sighs> trying. You look beautiful. Thank you. And you too. Thank too you beautiful. so much. Thank and you, Mommy. I'm happy I'm here. So, so I'm trying... <laughs> 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 I'm not going to mind my producer this morning. <laughs> but like I was saying, our conversation happens to be about grooming. Mm -hmm. When we talk about a groomed woman or a groomed man, who are we talking about? Yeah. First, I would like to just introduce myself. Like uh, you mentioned my name. And uh, I have a school that is a Phoenician school, first of its kind in the country. Okay. And it teaches grooming and it teaches etiquette. And for uh, grooming, <laughs> any time you are clean and you look um, classy, stylish, and uh, presentable, somebody can call you a groomed person oh, right. because you look presentable. Mm -hmm. So mostly it's on uh, how to clean yourself and look okay for the society. Mm. Before, grooming was more for animals, if like horses and things oh. like that are groomed. Groom. But now mm -hmm. we women too and men, we, are, uh, we get to be groomed. And I always say that for men more, when it comes to grooming, because they have hair to shave, beard to shave, mm -hmm. hair to cut. And uh, for men, they call it menscaping, like landscaping. Okay. So, you know, you, 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 you do a man and you say, oh, I'm going to do a manscaping. It's grooming All right. for a man. So is it, it's more of what? The cutting of, of the, the hair? The hair, the manicure, the pedicure, okay. uh, what he wears. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is grooming for a man, you know. Do they have to really go to school to learn that? Or some people Deep. are just born with it? Yes, some people are just born with it. You can go to a village and see a man and uh, you say, oh, this is a groomed man and has not even stepped out of the village before. Oh, right. And you can see a city man and very bush too. So mm -hmm. if you want to add some things to yourself, all the grooming thing is just to be a better version of yourself. That's mm. all. Mm. So at what age should we start grooming somebody? I think that from uh, kindergarten, I'm teaching some schools. I started with the kindergarten. Okay. And I'm so surprised what they know and what they don't know. And um, if you start like that, it becomes part and parcel of mm -hmm. the person. Okay. But if the person is grown, I have somebody who is about 55, and wants to learn grooming and etiquette and things like that, it's difficult because every now and then she calls and says, oh, I forgot, I was sitting anyhow, and then I remembered. <laughs> mm. But if you catch them young, mm -hmm. they grow with it and they sit well. So the whole thing about grooming, etiquette, everything, it just starts with our posture. And people may ask what's posture. Posture mm -hmm. is just standing and align your body and standing straight. Okay. And it's not just for you to be stylish or fashionable, but it's health too. You breathe better when you st your spinal cord is better. Right. And if I was slouching mm -hmm. before, I'll sit here regardless of my age, I'll be going like yeah. this. Anytime I sit, I try to bring uh, my back 
straight, so straight because posture. it's in my mind. Mm. So the posture is the beginning of all etiquette. Everything finished in school, etiquette, mm. grooming, your posture has to be straight. On that so note, I, I, I think we should bring your lady. Yes, okay. so we can, as I talk, she does it quickly okay. because I have only 10 minutes. Okay, sure. So, I, I can yes, go there. Yes, please. Yeah. So, with, with her, the posture will be, oops, I think I have to oh, hold okay. it. It's okay. Yes. Good. The, the posture will be her standing straight, okay. looking straight. So to achieve this in the house... You, you all, can come a bit closer yes. to me, it's fine. Yes. Yeah. To yeah. achieve this, mm -hmm. all of us looking, the ladies, even the men, you can achieve a good posture in your own home, put a book on top of you. Okay, I wish I had a book. A can, book. I, can I use my phone? Yes, okay. on top of... The reason for it is that once the book is there, you will not do like this, you will not do like that. That is how you get your posture straight. Simple. And for book. how many minutes do you have to keep the book You're there? just trying to get your posture. Okay. So for a minute or two, once you can gaze straight, okay. we don't do like this, you don't look down, your posture is straight quickly. Wow. Uh, yes. Okay. So this is a straight posture. Mm. Now, once the posture is there, the most important thing is that with the posture straight, even sitting becomes very elegant. Okay. So let her sit the way she a lady is supposed to sit. You see, she did not slam herself mm. in the chair. We always slam ourselves. Yeah, we go like a... Boom, and we look so clumsy <laughs> yeah. and slubby. Mm. Yeah. So, so, she so sits, I have to, you sit like this? Yes. So you have to straighten if your you outfit? If you have a skirt, if you have a trousers, you don't have to do all okay. that skirt because maybe it will tilt somewhere, so okay. you do like that. But all right, yes, so you go so like that? And you sit, and your back has to be straight? Straight. Yeah, and because some people like to talk, like mm -hmm. you on TV, mm -hmm. you like to talk, I like to talk using my hands, you have to always put your left hand on, and then you hold it like this, so you... I'm already doing that, yes, you know? Yes, I saw oh. it. So with that, you will not be putting your fingers and your hands in front of people, especially interview. You go and somebody mm -hmm. is, oh, the house is big, but if you clasp your hands together, it gives you a very nice sit so this is how a lady should sit there are lots of ways for you know there is a traditional way of sitting which is so good for us because in africa or in ghana mm -hmm. that's how queen elizabeth sat so she died she never crossed her leg so this is the traditional way of sitting okay two legs together ties together knees together mm. and you're sitting with your back straight, straight. and that's it for, for for those of us who have big thighs I left so you have a nice style that okay. you can do. You just bring your left feet forward, put the right behind, and that's it. You see? So you oh, can right. cross. Oh, like, just like I, I do. I yeah. do. Oh, then it like just, this. You see oh, how it has I can clo close it. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. So there are so many uh, 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 different ways of sitting, but these two will be good because of time. Okay. And then, now that she has shown the sitting and everything, she looks so elegant mm -hmm. and graceful. She's standing, she will stand the same way. So stand and let's see. So you put your feet and you stand without slouching and you stand straight. The walking is so important. Mm. There are two types of walk. The walk that beauty queens do. Okay. That's the catwalk. Oh. And the catwalk is just how a real cat walks. A cat peels the heel and brings it in front. We don't have to do that. Ladies do not have to... Catwalk? No. Okay. You have to walk gracefully and elegantly. That's all. Mm. So your normal walk. But once your posture is correct, mm -hmm. it just helps with the walk. Right. You know. So if your posture... You mm -hmm. can just walk without, you know... Oh, but some so, people naturally have, you know, a hunch back. So it's yes, always you know, the oh, posture. The, with the your, posture. Yes, the posture ah. is key. Okay. Once you're standing straight, so, sitting, walking, eating, so once I everything. Stand straight, but you know, sometimes too, those with the big thighs, their legs, when they are walking, it goes like this. Yes. Like that. Yes. So I always show them that, that those, big. yes, it's true. They have, yeah. and that's why you have a beautiful figure. So yeah. it doesn't matter, mm -hmm. the big hips. So when you always stand, because you, 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 you do what yeah. this job, mm -hmm. you always put all your weight on, let's say, left. Look at this, and you, you do it like this, and you stand. Uh, oh, so you put a weight there, look. and then you stand like that. No, you, you look like this. 
like that. Ah. Oh. So your weight is, you see your weight is all here. Okay, so we, so, so we do it again. Let's try it again. Okay, you, so, and then you. Come like yeah, that. So the weight it. is on your left. Yeah. So oh. when you get tired, you just do it this way too. Oh, okay. you, So you can stand for hours. Because of that, it makes the walking not like this. Because when you're walking, the one that is this is the one you will bring forward. All oh, right. So once you stand like that, when you're walking, you walk yeah, like that. Yes. Oh, but, but when you're you like this... Then it's going to be oh, like this. Oh. You see? Okay. And that's how you step so well now. You oh, just step... Very, that's nice. Yes. But does it doesn't actually make you, you know, look a bit robotic when you... No. Come? The reason that you don't look robotic is that rather your body do not shake. Is the shaking that is very bad for, for, for ladies. But if you walk like that, mm. your hands are really flexible on your body. Please walk let, let's, let's see how it says. You know, so if yeah. I come, if I'm like this and I'm walking, I will go like this. Oh, that's nice. All right. Mm. Okay. And I will not be shaking and things like that. The shaking and the, this is for the models, the pageants, uh -huh. you know. Okay. They, come in a different way because they have to show the clothes off. But every day, don't let a car go in a gutter because you're shaking. Just walk straight. <laughs> yes, if, if, you know, if yeah. and you go like this, the one that is like this is the one, that's oh, it. Oh, look you at see? me. Yeah, oh, that's it. Wow. That's it. And, then, and it's so, you're so beautiful walking Thank like you. that. Oh. That's it. So she will sit. Okay. So we teach those. Okay. We teach dress codes too. So how do the men sit as well? So always when I do this, I forget about the men. <laughs> the men never close their ties. Okay. Because they wear shorts and, and they wear shorts. trousers. Okay. They rather have to open their legs. Okay. So like, you know, open it and they sit like that, men. Ah. So men don't do what we do. Okay. They have to sit. And like, open it a little bit. A little bit. Right. What is it? So with the same posture the man, thing. please, make sure your trouser is sewn. <laughs> well sewn. <Yeah. laughs> so with the same good posture, okay. a man would do all that. You know, right. a man can also put the hand. They like to do this. They mm. say it gives them confidence. So they know. do this. Yes, men, men always sit like do this. that. And the ladies but let it be there. Nice. Yes. Okay. Because this pointing fingers and moving them, it's not very nice. Right. Okay. So this is it. But this is not all. Mm -hmm. We teach dress codes. Okay. The dress codes, we don't want to go mostly mm -hmm. Western. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can. So maybe what we'll do is that we'll bring the dress code next week and we, talk about it. We, so we can do we the, can table the, the table. table. So lady, okay. thank you so much for yes, joining yes, us. Yes. Very grateful. Okay, so. she's walking. Let's see your walk. Please <laughs> come back, come back and come and walk this way. <laughs> So everybody will see you exiting. <laughs> yes. So do the walk as you. Yes, please walk. Yes. There you go. Nice. You see, so she's not robotic yeah, she's and she's all very exactly, relaxed. Very rather. relaxed. Yes. So now we come to we the table come to etiquette. We come to the table etiquette. Okay. The table etiquette is just a long journey. Okay. So I decided that we'll just do a basic one. All right. And then... I will bring, we have aspects in the school that can take you through the whole thing and that will be just table etiquette. Fantastic. So uh, you have the okay. tablecloth. Mm -hmm. You must have the mat. Okay. Lots of people, until recently, somebody didn't know it's not a plate mat. It's ah. a place mat. Oh, it's a place mat. Yes. I don't know why, oh. but that is the place mat. And you put the first... Okay, that's there. the underplate, right? Yes. Okay. No, the underplate is it's the already place there. Mat. That's it's the there. placemat. Yes. Okay. And then this is supposed to be a soup bowl. Oh, so you put a soup bowl on your plate. On your plate. Right. Because you will finish it, mm. they will move it, and you will Have come to plate. your meal, right. main thing. Yes. So the most important thing also is where the fork is always left, mm. then the knife. It's not just put, but the blade has to face the plate. Okay. So I think this is where some, some of us get it wrong. Yeah, like this, Sometimes uh, we go like that. No, the blade has, has to, to face, face the plate. And then the spoon. Right. So basic one, you will leave all this. Mm -hmm. You have to remember napkins are always on the left. Most times I go to people's homes, mm -hmm. 
napkins are always on the left. Mm -hmm. You can put a fork on it. It's accepted or acceptable. Okay. Or you can put the napkin in the plate. What if you decide to put all the cutlery on the napkin? Is that okay? Uh, it's not. Okay. Because that is where the mistake comes. If the person you've invited mm. do not know what to do, then there is trouble. Okay. So the basic is this. Mm -hmm. You do it like that for them. And this one with the round one is for soup. Yeah. The soup spoon so I, and the teaspoon. I just brought them, but when so, we have to do all, mm -hmm. then, then we bring it lots, in. Lots of cutlery. That's so this great. Is it. Okay. This is supposed to be the water glass. You have to remember it's never on the left. It mm. has to be on the right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then people talk about the wine these days yeah. at the table. Two different wines. The red wine has to be this. And the white wine is shorter and rounder. Hey, the red wine glass is different from the yes, white wine glass. Yes, yes, yes. I've been drinking the white one in the red one. Oh. So I, I see this is the water glass. The, yes. This is water glass. White wine. This is white wine. So the water. How, so how do you tell that this is water glass? This can also be for beer, but I was going to show you a oh. beer glass that I use. Okay. You know, once it's just slim and tall. And tall. Once it's a tall glass, yes, then it means that it's water. Yeah. Okay. And then the wine glass, like you said. This is for this red. This is for red. Mm -hmm. uh, so how do you, why, why One the is difference? smaller and one is taller and bigger. That's all. The white is shorter. Well, we don't drink a lot of white wine. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people nowadays drink red. Okay, that's but why. But those who drink one. white, it has to be this. Is there any reason why the white? I'm, I'm still a bit confused ah. as to why the white wine glass is a bit smaller than the red. When I see you another time, <laughs> I'll tell you. So that's this why. can be good for beer. Okay. And this one is the one that the these champagne? days the champagne, but okay. it's called a flute because right. it's look like. How do you hold this glass? <laughs> you see, it's many... been a conversation. You see. Many people hold it all kinds of ways, mm -hmm. this way. Mm -hmm. But the champagne, you have to hold it. The flute is like this. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you see? And the wine glass, how do we hold the wine glass? <laughs> you see, again, the wine glass, cultures are different. Okay. I always hold my... In, okay. Hold my, mm. Some people go to the middle. Okay. This you is hold good like for that. me because it balances well. And I hold it firmly. That's great. We wish we had all the time, but we'll yes. continue with this uh, next week. Yes. Uh, so tell us a bit about, you can have a seat, Mami. Okay. Uh, let's talk a bit about your school and then we know, you know, we tell people more about it next week. Yeah. So the school is just to, like I said, to groom ladies and gentlemen. For example, uh, ladies, the school I'm teaching, mm -hmm. uh, the girls already in the school know how to ketsy. It's so beautiful. But ketsying is European. Mm -hmm. But we used to do like this. Yeah. So I've added cultural okay. things to the finishing school. So it's not just Western. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you can also come and know this. I've also taught the children signs. And it was so good for them. A sign like if you are sorry, you just rub. Oh, wow. Because where you are, maybe you can't talk. Somebody pushed you and people are there. You can't say sorry. Just do like this and the person will know you are sorry. You have to visit the school. Where are you located, Mami? Achimota. Achimota. Yes. And if yeah. you have a number, you can put it out for people to yes. call. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I will give the number now. 0244. Th this is your camera? 740194. 0244-740194. Then I taught them how to say thank you. The traditional way is like this, mm. thank you, All without right. saying it. But thank West Thing, it's again, like this. Okay. because your heart is on your lips. Mm. Thank you, I'm grateful, I appreciate like this. Is that posture the reason, or bad posture, the reason why we are seeing an increment in, you know, spinal cord problems? Yes, that is, that is why I said it's not just for the you to The phone has started ringing, oh. Yeah. When... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have seen that. I'm, I always put my phone on silent. I don't know why I did not do don't that. Don't worry so at all, it's fine. Yeah. So, um, not just for the being stylish, but for you to be 80 and still be straight, you must have your posture always Great. straight. Great, all right. For the men too. It's very, very important. Men bow. Okay. Oh, men bow. Bow. Okay. To greet or salute. Okay. Women ketsy. Okay. But if you're in trousers, you don't ketsy. 
the woman has to bow to. We'll so, learn a lot next, next week. week. So we'll have you coming in next week, Hobby, and it will definitely be a yes. great conversation. Yes. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. Thank Super you. grateful. And uh, <laughs> maybe we'll make it a series. So she'll be coming in to teach us more about yes. etiquette small, and then small, we'll get to know. Small and we'll get all. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Thank yes. you so much. We will talk about yeah. colors and all. All right. That would be great. That would be great. My guest has been Madame Gladys Debord Hill, and uh, she is an etiquette. <laughs> etiquette and grooming specialist so if you are looking for anybody to groom you please call her she's put out her number already and i know you've taken it some calls have started coming in when you took the number uh wait when we are done you can call her and have the conversation with her we have other conversations coming your way like i said earlier it's all about uh, the entertainment industry remembering a stage play that will be coming your way at the National Theatre and you do not want to miss it. It's actually happening tomorrow. We'll talk about that and then we'll talk about our movie industry as well. Do stay with us. We'll be right back.